an alarm clock is a clock that is designed to make a sound, or some other signal, at a specific time. The primary utility of these clocks is to awaken people from their night's sleep or short naps. They are sometimes used for other reminders as well. Most use sound. Some use light or vibration. Some have sensors to identify when a person is in a light stage of sleep, in order to avoid waking someone who is deeply asleep, which causes tiredness, even if the person has had adequate sleep. To stop the sound or light, a button or handle on the clock is pressed. Most clocks automatically stop the alarm if left unattended long enough. A classic analog alarm clock has an extra hand or inset dial that is used to specify the time at which to activate the alarm. Alarm clocks are also found on mobile phones and watches. Traditional mechanical alarm clocks have one or two bells that ring by means of a mainspring that powers a gear to propel a hammer back and forth between the two bells or between the interior sides of a single bell. In some models, the back encasement of the clock itself acts as the bell. In an electric bell style alarm clock, the bell is rung by an electromagnetic circuit and armature that turns the circuit on and off repeatedly. Digital alarm clocks can make other noises. Simple battery powered alarm clocks make a loud buzzing or beeping sound to wake a sleeper, while novelty alarm clocks can speak, laugh, sing, or play sounds from nature. Some alarm clocks have radios that can be set to start playing at specified times and are known as clock radios. Some alarm clocks can set multiple alarms, a useful feature for couples who have different waking up schedules. A progressive alarm clock, still new in the market, can have different alarms for different times. Most modern televisions, mobile phones and digital watches have alarm clock functions to turn on or make sounds at a specific time. History the ancient Greek philosopher Plato was said to possess a large water clock with an unspecified alarm signal similar to the sound of a water organ. He used it at night, possibly for signaling the beginning of his lectures at dawn. The Hellenistic engineer and inventor Ctesibus fitted his clepsydras with dial and pointer for indicating the time, and added elaborate alarm systems, which could be made to drop pebbles on a gong, or blow trumpets at preset times. The late Roman senator Cassiodorus advocated in his rule book for monastic life the water clock as a useful alarm for the soldiers of Christ. The Christian rhetorician Procopius described in detail prior to 529 a complex public striking clock in his hometown Gaza which featured an hourly gong and figures moving mechanically day and night. In China, a striking clock was devised by the Buddhist monk and inventor Yi Crossing. The Chinese engineers Zhang Sixen and Su Song integrated striking clock mechanisms in astronomical clocks in the 10th and 11th centuries, respectively. A striking clock outside of China was the water-powered clock tower near the Umayyad Mosque in Damascus, Syria, which struck once every hour. It was constructed by the Arab engineer al Qazirani in 1154. In 1235, an early monumental water-powered alarm clock that announced the appointed hours of prayer and the time both by day and by night was completed in the entrance hall of the Mustan Syria Madraza in Baghdad. From the 14th century, some clock towers in Western Europe were also capable of chiming at a fixed time every day. The earliest of these was described by the Florentine writer Dante Alighieri in 1319. The most famous original striking clock tower still standing is possibly the one in St. Mark's Clock Tower in St. Mark's Square, Venice. The St. Mark's Clock was assembled in 1493, by the famous clockmaker Giancarlo Ranieri from Reggio Emilia, where his father Giancarlo Ranieri had already constructed another famous device in 1481. In 1497, Simone Campanato molded the Great Bell, which was put on the top of the tower where it was alternatively beaten by the Dumori, two bronze statues handling a hammer. User settable mechanical alarm clocks date back at least to 15th century Europe. These early alarm clocks had a ring of holes in the clock dial and were set by placing a pin in the appropriate hole. Another mechanical alarm clock was created by Levi Hutchins, of New Hampshire in the United States, in 1787. This device he made only for himself however, and it only rang at 4 a.m., in order to wake him for his job. The French inventor Antoine Redier was the first to patent an adjustable mechanical alarm clock, 
1847. Alarm clocks, like almost all other consumer goods in the United States, ceased production in the spring of 1942, as the factories which made them were converted over to war work during World War II, but they were one of the first consumer items to resume manufacture for civilian use, in November 1944. By that time, a critical shortage of alarm clocks had developed due to older clocks wearing out or breaking down. Workers were late for, or missed completely, their scheduled shifts and jobs critical to the war effort. In a pooling arrangement overseen by the Office of Price Administration, several clock companies were allowed to start producing new clocks, some of which were continuations of pre-war designs, and some of which were new designs, thus becoming among the first post-war consumer goods to be made, before the war had even ended. The price of these emergency clocks was, however, still strictly regulated by the Office of Price Administration. The first radio alarm clock was invented by James F. Reynolds, in the 1940s and another design was also invented by Paul L. Schroth Sr. Clock Radio A clock radio is an alarm clock and an AM-FM radio integrated in one device. They are integrated so that the radio sound may be used as an alarm. This allows the sleeper to be awakened by radio music news or a buzzer sound. They are typically placed on the bedside stand. They offer dual alarm and snooze, a large button on the top that stops the alarm and sets it to ring again at a short time later, most commonly nine minutes. Some clock radios also have a sleep timer, which turns the music from radio on for a set amount of time. This is useful for people who like to fall asleep with a radio on. In addition to radio, recent clock radios have other music sources such as iPod, iPhone, and or audio CD. When the alarm is triggered, it can play a set radio station or the music from a selected music source to awaken the sleeper. These models usually come with a dock for iPod iPhone that also charges the device while it is docked. They can play FM AM radio, iPod iPhone or CD like a typical music player as well. A few popular models offer nature sounds like rain, forest, fire, sea, waterfall etc., in place of the buzzer. Clock radios are powered by AC power from the wall socket. In the event of a power interruption, older models used to reset the time to midnight and lose alarm settings. This would cause failure to trigger the alarm even if the power is restored. To solve this issue, they trigger the alarm at 0 and after a reset so that at least the user is able to correct the clock and alarm settings. Most of the recent clock radios use a battery backup to maintain the time and alarm settings. Some advanced radio clocks have a feature which sets the time automatically using signals from atomic clock sync time signal radio stations such as WWV, making the clock accurate and immune to time reset due to power interruptions. Gallery Other alarm signals the deaf and hard of hearing are often unable to perceive auditory alarms when asleep. They may use specialized alarms, including alarms with flashing lights instead of or in addition to noise. Alarms which can connect to vibrating devices also exist. Computer alarms, alarm clock software programs have been developed for personal computers. A computer acting as an alarm clock may allow a virtually unlimited number of alarm times and personalized tones. Online alarm clocks are also available through the use of different websites e one quarter oag Sensor Wake Mobile phone alarms Many modern mobile phones feature built-in alarm clocks that do not need the phone to be switched on for the alarm to ring off. Some of these mobile phones feature the ability for the user to set the alarm's ringtone, and in some cases music can be downloaded to the phone and then chosen to play for waking. Next Generation Alarms Scientific studies on sleep having shown that sleep stage at awakening is an important factor in amplifying sleep inertia. Alarm clocks involving sleep stage monitoring appeared on the market in 2005. Using sensing technologies such as EEG electrodes or accelerometers, these alarm clocks are supposed to wake people only from light sleep. Dawn simulators are another technology meant to mediate these effects. Sleepers can become accustomed to the sound of their alarm clock if it has been used for a period of time, making it less effective. Because progressive alarm clocks have a complex waking procedure, 
they can deter this adaptation due to the body needing to adapt to more stimuli than just a simple sound alert. See also Delayed sleep phase syndrome, digital clock, light therapy, timer. References Sources, Humphrey, John William. Eliezen, John Peter. Sherwood, Andrew N., Greek and Roman Technology, a sourcebook. Annotated translations of Greek and Latin texts and documents, Taylor and Francis Routledge, ISBN 978-0-203-41325-8, Landels, John G., Water Clocks and Time Measurement in Classical Antiquity, Endeavor 3, 32 Euro 37, Lewis, Michael, Theoretical Hydraulics, Automata, and Water Clocks, in Wykanda, a JAN, Handbook of Ancient Water Technology, Technology and Change in History 2, Leiden, Brill, pages 343 Euro 369, ISBN 90-04-11123-9. External links